Yo, hello guys and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. In today's video guys, I will show you how to remove teammate loadout. So basically guys, sometimes you will want to remove this teammate loadout because you find it annoying or something like that. Well, basically in this tutorial, I will show you how to do so. So, first of all guys, I will need you to go ahead and basically go to your Riot Games client and log into your account. After that, go ahead and click on Valorant and launch it. This window shall be appearing after you do these steps. Now go to here and click on settings. Here you will find all of these uh, different kind of options. Here's even like so many options. Uh, for example, other first person headness, right of uh, left or right. So you can even uh, change the hand of the, the gun. You can hear uh, like uh, always show inventory and here you will find the player's loadout always visible. So basically if you want to remove it or add it you can just change it from here So for example, you want it to be on you can click here and close settings You don't really need to be on the like um, You don't really need to apply because there is no button of applying in here So just by clicking on it will be directly applied and if you want to any game and you started playing You will find that the player loadout is no longer is shown or is shown in the game It depends on if you made it on and off so once again if he didn't get it right so it is pretty simple so basically just turn on your Valorant and then you will just go here go to the top right corner where you find the settings so click here settings here you'll find general you go all the way down and so you will find accessibility, mouse map, and double will find privacy and others. So go to others, the third option, which is playload out. Here you can remove or add, so off, on. So it depends on what you want. So let's make it off and just like so, we've done it. So yeah, guys, that was it. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comment section and see you in the next tutorial.